regarding the properties of uh, unilateral laplace transform they are very similar to uh, the ones that you have already seen in the bilateral laplace transform however the unilateral uh, laplace transform is more limiting and we are having some assumptions in place for the unilateral laplace transform for example uh, in the time scaling so this property is only valid for a which is positive that is it is greater than zero but for bilateral transform this condition was not there right similarly another very important property is the convolution that is if we are convolving in time so in the frequency domain or in the s domain we would be multiplying but for the unilateral laplace transform the condition is that x1 and x2 they need to be causal or we can say that x1 and x2 are identically zero for t less than zero a very significant property is the differentiation in time domain because we are often working on the linear constant coefficient differential equations so this property comes into play quite often so in this d by dt x of t is equivalent to s x of s minus x of zero minus note that we have used an x which is small letter so this means that this is a constant in time domain that is we have an initial condition expressed over here uh, by means of the differentiation in time domain so in this video we would be looking into a formal proof of the differentiation property and one example that is originating from it so if x of t has a unilateral Laplace transform which is x of s then d by dt x of t would have a unilateral Laplace transform as mentioned over here s x of s minus a constant have uh, identifying the initial condition in time domain that is x zero minus also note that if we have a higher order of differential that is say we have a second order of differential so in that case we would have a unilateral Laplace transform that is s square x of s minus s small x zero minus minus x zero minus the first derivative of it and so on so let us look into a proof of this property so right now we are interested in the laplace transform of d by dt x of t so this is equivalent to 0 minus to infinity d by dt x of t and then e minus st dt so we can solve this integration using integration by parts so hence by applying integration by parts let us say that this is our v of x and this is our u of x so using this formulation we would have this equality rewritten over here as simply u of x v of x that is x of t e minus s t with the limits infinity and 0 minus minus again we have the limit of integration starting from 0 minus going to infinity the derivative of u which is the derivative of this part that is simply minus s and then the function itself that is simply e minus s t multiplied by v of x that is x of t dt so this integration can be rewritten again we can take the s out of integration because this is not a part of the integration so this minus s can be taken out and we would have plus s 0 minus to infinity x of t e minus st dt and this 
is simply a standard definition of the unilateral Laplace transform that is this can be written as x of s. So this can be further broken down into two parts that is we can have x of infinity e minus s times infinity and then x of 0 minus e minus s of 0 minus now for the ROC to hold this must be converging so at time infinity this should be 0 so we can say this is simply 0 from the precondition of unilateral plus transform so this is simply 0 and then we have x of 0 minus and e minus st where t is actually approaching 0 that is 0 or 0 minus so the exponential uh, function simply is 1 so thus we have s x of s minus x of 0 minus say we are given with a signal that's a graphical signal it is starting at time 0 and until time 2 it is behaving as a ramp function and from 2 to 3 it is dropping down to 1 so since it is behaving as a ramp function initially so this limit would be 2 so this is our x of t and we are asked to find x of s now we can find this Laplace transform in multiple ways but the easiest way is to use the differentiation property I will explain how it is easier so say we are differentiating this signal that is we are having d by dt x of t so if we are differentiating this signal so we need to find the slope uh, for this line until say 2 and that can be found by uh, the expression for slope that is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 2 minus 0 so this will become 2 and similarly 2 minus 0 so this is also 2 so this is simply 1 until time 2 that is when time is between 0 and 2 the slope is simply 1 similarly when the time is between 2 and 3 the slope would be 0 minus 2 that is a minus 2 divided by 3 minus 2 that is 1 so this is simply minus 2 so from 2 to 3 the slope is so taking the Laplace transform of this function uh, is a little bit easier as compared to this function but let us take one more differential of this signal that is d by dt the second derivative of x of t so right now if we take the differential of this graph so at time 0 minus we have value of 0 and time 0 plus we have a value of 1 so if we take the differential so we would have simply an impulse which has a strength of 1 similarly at time instant 2 we have y2 minus y1 that is simply 3 so we have an impulse of strength minus 3 because it's moving in this direction note that this was minus 2 and finally at 3 we have a discontinuity from minus 2 to 0 so again we have an impulse of strength positive 2 so hence this function that is d by dt double derivative x of t can be written in terms of delta of t minus 3 delta of t minus 2 plus 
to delta of now if we take the laplace transform of this signal so we know that from the differentiation property of unilateral laplace transform so d by dt x of t as a laplace transform which is s x of s minus some initial conditions so since this is of second order so this would simply be s square x of s minus s time domain x of 0 minus and minus x of 0 minus the first derivative Similarly, delta of t uh, has a Laplace transform which is simply 1. We would have 3 again, we have a delta of t minus 2, and this is a time shifting property. So, this can be simply solved that if you have delta of t, so its Laplace transform is simply 1, but if you shift that delta in time, that is, you have now t minus 2 so the laplace transform of it would be simply e minus 2s times 1 so simply e minus 2s so using this property that is time shifting property we have minus 3 e minus 2s and similarly for this we have plus 2 e minus 3s now we are left with the initial conditions so what we need is we need x of 0 minus and the derivative of it so from here you can see that x of 0 minus is simply 0 this value is 0 over here and also we can say that x derivative of 0 minus is 0 because there is no change over here so hence this is 0 and this is 0 so we have x of s which is 1 over s square 1 minus 3 e minus 2 s plus 2 e minus 3 s in the next video we will be again working on the differentiation in time domain to analyze and understand a second order rlc circuit